Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to mount this um, light that we finished um, covering in Sikaflex. I'll get that mounted, fire up the lights at the front and this spotlight just to triple check that everything works. And then we're pretty much finished with the front section of the boat. So I might start putting some seats in and things. And then we'll continue wiring down the back and go from there. So yeah, if you like these videos, please hit the like, that'd be great. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of our other videos. I survived a bee attack the other day. I hit a swarm with the mower and um, yeah, got 40 plus bee stings. So yeah, really lucky to be alive. I didn't actually realize how serious it could have been until the missus told me, but yeah. So that's another video. And if you're into mining and exploring treasure hunting, all that sort of stuff, I've got an Opal channel as well, which is called Opal, che Opal Quest. And that's where I do mining and jewelry making and all that. So check that out if you want. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into this and uh, make it happen. So as you saw the other day, I drowned this in Sikaflex, which is basically just to seal it up. It gets right in all the joints uh, around the back. I've just quickly tied it up. All I've done is just give it a quick scrape of where I didn't want glue to be. Um, so we'll mount this up the front. So that's just a simple matter of whacking that wherever we want it. Not on the back, face that pretty much forward. We'll tweak this up a bit later once we know exactly where we want it to face. So it's kind of pointing roughly where we want it. Let's do this back one up, which of course is a different size. So I'll go and get that. All right, so we can adjust this a little bit where we want it. Probably about there will work. All right, we've got our quick connect plugs. So that just simply goes in there like that. And then I might just tape that up somewhere like that or something. Or even up like that to let the water drain out. Okay, well that's done. Let's um, fire it up and see what we see where they work. So we've got our cables coming out the front here, um, and to be honest, I've forgotten what's what. So we'll just quickly um, strip a bit off these. I've got a little um, 12 volt power pack. I can run power to, and I'll be able to just quickly test them, make sure the cabling's all working okay, and then we can um, label them and move on to something else. Now that when we know that they work. So I'll just quickly strip a little bit of power off of this. I've got 12 volts here. Positives that one. And we can see there that's our spotlight on and off. So I'll put a bit of tape, tape on this one. And we'll label it just so spotty. So later when I wire in the control panel, uh, we'll know exactly what's what. Save us a bit of time. So just go spot, done. So if that's the spots, what else we've got? We've got a courtesy light, I think. Okay, courtesy light. That's working all right, sweet. All right, so hopefully this is the navigation lights. So I'll just put power on there. Assuming they're working. Oh, yeah, I can see it lighting up. All right, so that's the nav lights done. Okay, so before we button up the floor, screw all this down, I'm gonna put some foam under here, um, which is why we put that strap in as well, to keep the foam off the floor, so when we wash it out, it flows underneath. Might even put a little triangle in here, because realistically, that's not much storage room, unless you shove something up under there, but. Anyway, so this is the foam we pulled out. I wanna try and get all of this foam back in the front, so we'll, all we do is um, just cut out Cut out the shape basically and put it in. It's not rocket science this one. Right, so we've cut out a few shapes on the floor. Uh, I've got a cable tie under this one as well to keep it off the floor at this end. Got that little bar at the other side and um, just filled in this space as well. Because realistically there's a lock but we're not going to get much underneath that so I'll keep that the way it is. Uh, I might even throw a piece on the other side yet.
Okay, so we've got our anchor or stern light here. Just a white light LED, which you need to have on if you're anchored or moored somewhere. So anyway, we're just gonna put a cable on here and it's pretty much the same again. We're just gonna add a uh, insulated cable to there. All right, so that is one anchor light connected. So obviously staggered the joins again, wrapped them in good insulation, and then put some heat shrink over them. This is miles off the waterline as well, and it should be right under the gunnel out of the weather. So that's one we can put that in later. So with our stern light here, just for a bit of extra protection, I've um, sickerflexed around the main seal that it's got. And also because it's gonna be hanging upside down pretty much all of its life, um, I've actually put a bit of Sikaflex around that seal there as well because uh, otherwise the water just rain would just run straight down into the head of it so uh, anyway I've just taped that and then when you've after you've um, put a bit of glue on it you can just take that off like that messy stuff and this one here had a bit of a seam I could actually pull that apart you can see it moving there probably it's where the joins are so while it's still wet I'll take that off And same with the top bit. I'm to find the end, which is there. So probably if you do buy good quality marine stuff, which is like 10 times the price of what I paid for this, it's probably got good seals in it, but for the amount of work this is gonna get, I couldn't justify it. So anyway, so I've just gone around in between where the tape is, I've just gone over that seal when it's upside down, that'll be pretty watertight. Get that out of the road. The other one we're gonna wire up is the bilge pump. So we've got three wires for this one. They look quite thick cables that come with it, but when you actually get down to it and have a really good look at the thickness of the actual wire inside, they're not very thick at all. Um, so we're gonna use, I've just got some good quality trailer plug I'm gonna use for the cabling for that. And we'll join that on and again this will be pretty much joined outside the water line so uh, this will be quite a way off the floor so we'll join them back here and i'll get all this other bit of wiring insulated as well so we'll get that joined on
All right, so there we have it. We've got our wires joined and we've got some um, heat shrink over it. And we'll be able to put that in some conduit now and get that mounted. Right, next job is we've just got um, this stern light just temporary hanging there um, just to let that glue dry that we put on there. We've got our bilge pump just sitting there at the moment, uh, just reminding me I've got a one cable up there. So I quickly drilled out a couple of holes in the seat here for conduit. So I've got to get wire from the control panel to down the gunnel, down under the seat, across the seat to the other side, and it'll pop up out the back corner here. And that'll run to the outside lights and also in the center here i've drilled that hole where that courtesy light's going to go for the back so i've also got to tap into that and we'll run the cable around the front run the, around the front of the seat and it'll be hidden with that um front kickboard basically it'll run under there and we can tap off into that and join it under the glove box that courtesy light so that's the next job so i've got to get a cable from this courtesy light here through the foam into the seat where it runs. So the easiest way to get through the foam is pretty much heat up the tip of a bit of rod. And it's just a bit of um, scrap stainless steel I've got floating around. It doesn't have to be very hot, it's just enough to melt the foam. So if we get that like that, and push that through, and that should pop out where the glove box is on the other side. So. You can see that there. And you can see where the vacuum cleaner is over there. That's that rod coming through. So we can now pull a cable through there. So we've popped our grommet into here, into where we want our courtesy light. We've put our hot rod through there and melted the uh, foam where we want it. So then it's just a matter of feeding your cable through. Like so. And that's pretty much it, where that light will go, and we'll just pot rivet that on. So we've got our outside light um, up the end there, and we're using the same feed running down here. Um, what we've done, so there's another outside light just here. And so we've tapped into the main feed, and then this will run back again, and then under the seat. So there's no major joins anywhere. Okay, so we've pot riveted in these outside lights here. Uh, one there, one there. And we're going to run that through the seat and then we'll, we'll join them to the two on the other side and then back to the control panel. Uh, but while we're going, we'll just test to make sure that um, everything's all working properly. So you can see there, they're both lit up. So that's fine, because there's nothing worse than running cables through seats and everywhere and then finding out you've got to pull half it back to rejoin a connector. So that's, um, that'll be good. Keep going. Well, I'll just quickly pot rivet this um, courtesy light in here. You can see the um, pot rivet there as we squeeze it up, it expands. And that locks into the sheet, sheet um, aluminium we've got there. Just do this other side. These are the um, steel pins that are in the centre of the aluminium rivets. We just take them out, make sure we don't drop them in the boat because um, they will corrode your boat. So there we go. There's another courtesy light there ready to get wired. There's another one here. And all our wiring's starting to come together now.